PicMonkey has now introduced the ability to save. Yay! So if you look, um, this one, it says edit pic. So a couple of things before we start. I've already tried this and it kept on getting stuck. Ugh. So we'll see if this works. It is beta. Um, a couple more things that you need to know about using this new feature um, is that you do have to you have their Royale level of um, pick monkeys. So that means you have to pay $4.99 per month. Really not a lot. Totally worth it. I have a link before below for a free trial. Yay, Nina. I do get referral credit for that. But yeah, it's going to give you some free trial so you can try this out. Again, it is beta, so there are some issues. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to start with just doing a design. Make this easy and not um, too complicated. I just want to see if I can edit this. Okay, so this is done. I'm just going to do add to hub. It seems to get stuck at this part, but let's see if it goes any further for me. Oh, there it goes. It saved it. Yay! Had so many problems. Okay, so I'm actually going to close this. Um, let me do my X. Okay, and then I'm going to go up to Edit Hub, and let's see if it's in there. It is in there. Okay, a couple of things about this. You can save up to 250 they're calling it pages or designs basically in here they can't be more than 60 megabytes um, for those of you who don't know basically try to save it if you can't it's too big um, basically this is going to be in preparation for the mobile they call it the mobile experience because it's going to be a little bit different on the mobile one um, and if you edit a photo on PicMonkey mobile um, it will be saved at the resolutions that that's best for the phone or for the um, image in that device rather than um, you setting it. Long story short, um, you do have some limitations. There's the collages here you can manage, so you can delete and do all that kind of stuff. So if you look there, again, it is beta, so there, it is kind of, kind of fishy. But I'm gonna click it here and click on open and let's see what you can edit. Um, I'm gonna go through the list now. So you can edit text and you can update like your overlay colors and you know, different images that you saved. However, so size of your canvas, um, some of the effects, you know, all of that kind of stuff. However, there's going to be some things that you cannot edit. So anything that is, um, and let me actually clarify, you cannot edit effects, frames, or textures. Those are all going to be flattened. So let me just see what that, so this is fine. The background is fine. This is fine. That's fine. You can double click, edit, right? So, so far, if you're just using the basic features, you should be fine. Once you start getting into everything else, um, like some of that additional kind of advanced features, you may not be able to use it. One of the things they're suggesting is to use it as a template. I created so many templates, and if you are have been with me from the beginning, you'll notice that I always said, save your pick monkey items along the way. So now I can update it. Um, we don't necessarily have to um, um, save it to your desktop. You could save it in pick monkey. Notice that now I have a make a copy option. Let's see if it saves it with no issues. Takes a little while. There is a form on their site, so if you are having issues, you can submit the form 
and let them know that you're having issues. But for the most part, I'm glad they're getting to this point. I feel like they had to probably rush because Canva um, kind of released their, their app, but you know, I could be wrong. Anyways, you know me, I will be posting more and more videos. I use this for the thumbnails of all my um, YouTube channel videos, so expect more. Again, if you want that free trial of PicMonkey Royale, go ahead and click the link below. So what do you think about the new features? Are you going to be using this and saving your images to PicMonkey? Are you going to wait till the beta is over? Do you think you're going to move over from Canva to PicMonkey? Just curious to see how people are going to use this. Leave your comments below and let me know what, how you're going to use that and if you have any questions for me. Ciao. Oh, and I almost forgot. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Also, if you like that video, you are really going to like my video on how to promote Instagram posts. Go ahead and click on the description below. The link to the video is in there.